Hey, Joel Green here. Did you know there's a select group of individuals that go above and beyond in the world of water? So let's meet our everyday water heroes. I'm here with Jim Green. No, there's no relation, although it may look it. Jim, tell me, what, is your, what do you do here for Metropolitan Water District? I'm the manager of water system operations here at Metropolitan. So what exactly does that mean? We essentially run the system. So we're delivering water, both treated and raw water, throughout Southern California to 19 million people. How many uh, members are on your team? In my group, we have about 950. <laughs> That's it? So a staff of 950 experts. What is something that you think would surprise people about water? People don't realize what's, what's kind of hidden behind the scenes, so to speak. There's a huge infrastructure and network behind the scenes that is operated each and every, every day to get water to the consumers. And, and people just don't realize that. What is something that you're religious about when it comes to water? Well, me, it would be conservation. I mean, it's just a way of life now. Give me an example, and, though. And I wasn't that way when I started. I didn't, I didn't think to, you know, I didn't think about it at all. But it's so different today that conservation, I, I will not water my lawn more than once a week. I, I, I will not take a shower more than, you know, 10 minutes. It's just a way of life. I thought you meant once a week. I was going to, whoa, <laughs> wait a second. Here. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Okay. It's just a way of life now. It's how, it's how I have changed personally. Okay, so what is something that you've been caught and you were embarrassed about? You know, you thought, oh, my goodness, I work at the water. I got caught. Uh, <laughs> I have got caught. Well, there is one thing, uh, but, I, but I, I corrected the situation. I had a swimming pool with a leak, and it was leaking. And so I guess you can say I got caught on that. But the good news is we corrected that. Okay. We jumped on that. It took me a little while to find the leak. Okay. But uh, so that, that's my embarrassing moment. <laughs> yeah, what gets you excited about what the public's doing? Or, or is there a story that stands out you've heard recently about what, what, what you know, public is doing? So I just see a, kind of an awareness now that water is important, it's critical. And I see that not only at the high school level, but at the junior college level, just more interest. And through our apprenticeship program, I think we're really supporting that. What would you say to people out there that are even remotely possibly thinking about going into the water business or the water world? Yeah, you, you, gotta, you gotta hook up with a mentor. Uh, I fortunately did it through undergrad, college, as well as grad, uh, grad school. Uh, get a good professor to work with. But you really need to network. You, if you're interested in the water community, you need to start networking. Uh, think about AWWA, American Water Works Association. Get associated with them. Talk to your local teacher, professor. Get a relationship going with him or her. Learn more about it. Talk to Metropolitan External Affairs Group. You can call them anytime, obviously. Uh, talk to Metropolitan. Talk to your local water provider. Uh, but, but you really got to take the initiative. Well, Jim, appreciate your time, man. Thank you so much. And that is today's Everyday Water Hero.